Hi, I'm First Lady Gail Manchin. Every day, ordinary individuals affect our communities in extraordinary ways. In fact, people are West Virginia's greatest natural resource. Their efforts are all around us, from cleaning our roadways and rivers to mentoring our kids. Volunteers are essential to West Virginia. To maintain and enhance the unique quality of life we enjoy here in West Virginia, state government does play a role. But it takes everyone's effort to create the momentum that helps improve whole communities and entire cities. We all benefit when businesses, nonprofit organizations, and citizens all do their part and volunteer. When people volunteer to improve their community or simply lend a hand for their church or school, everyone benefits and the impact is real. It's a proven scientific fact. People who volunteer are healthier and feel better about themselves. One unique organization in our state that understands this is the West Virginia Business Volunteer Council. Corporate members of the Business Volunteer Council support and encourage their employees to get involved in volunteering through a variety of incentives, from matching dollars to rewards for meeting volunteer goals. Volunteering is about building relationships in our communities. Without good, solid relationships, whether it be as a business or as a volunteer, with the elected officials, with the other volunteers and the nonprofits in our communities, it would be hard to do business. Part of our core business value is to give back to the communities, give our employees time at work to volunteer. We think it's very important to have our employees give back to the community work with people in the community to make them better. At the end of the day, it always makes Brick Street employees better. It builds teamwork and helps with the morale. So we think it's very important to incorporate that into our culture and started from day one doing that. We started a program called Paving Between Communities and uh, that is the important thing with volunteerism and we think it's, uh, we will continue to do that. We have a lot of people that volunteer at Brick Street and we're very proud of that. As a small business, Maple Creative has made community service a mandatory part of our culture. Each employee is required to pick a community service project of his or her choosing each year. They are uh, allowed to pick a project that aligns with their passion, with their personal interests. And then we measure performance on that every year. That actually becomes part of our performance evaluation process. And they're held accountable. Their performance on their community service project is measured just as strongly as their customer service or their internal communications. I think a lot of times in West Virginia we volunteer you know, we coach a little league team, but we don't see that really as volunteering when it really is. So I think we just have to get the awareness up, and it's, it's time for all West Virginians to step forward now and say, you know, yes, I will. I'll volunteer for West Virginia. Habitat for Humanity relies on volunteers to build houses, obviously, and one of the ways that we have found best to recruit and organize those volunteers is from corporations, from employees groups, uh, associations, any group that has an existing umbrella that we can use to help recruit volunteers and organize them. It really helps us a lot. While West Virginia businesses, large and small, play a pivotal role in creating ongoing programs, individual employees rise to the occasion and achieve marvelous results. Why do they volunteer and what motivates them to help their neighbor or their neighborhood? I believe that uh, we as individuals should give to the community, help others. Uh, I was brought up in a Christian family where we all learn to help others who are less fortunate and even help our communities either through the government, uh, volunteering there, or through uh, faith-based organizations and those type of, of avenues. One, there's a lot of camaraderie that you get with uh, other people that are volunteering. Two, it's wonderful to see the uh, results and uh, get to actually see something happening and see the people when they move in and the joy in their hearts. So that makes me very happy when that happens. It gives you an opportunity to try some things out, find out if you're good at some things. It gives you uh, an idea of what you're good at so that you can pursue your strengths and um, at the same time make a difference in someone's life. Uh, at the same time feel successful in your efforts. Um, see the successes in the community based on the little that you were able to contribute. Volunteering benefits everyone in West Virginia in countless ways, whether on an individual level or a corporate level. 
volunteering has become as simple as a click of your computer mouse. The website is volunteerwv.org and it's a one-stop location for information on how you, your organization, or your company can get the most out of volunteering. Volunteerwv.org is a joint venture between the West Virginia Business Volunteer Council, a coalition of businesses, associations, and labor unions, and the West Virginia Commission for National and Community Service, the state's volunteer agency. Working together, they share strategies for employee volunteer programs, collect information on best practices, and track volunteer hours for those who log on and log in. If you're a business or a corporation, you need to be a member of the West Virginia Business Volunteer Council. As a statewide organization, we offer the tools, resources, and knowledge to help you launch an effective employee volunteer program. If you already have a program in place, we can offer you ideas to make yours even better through sharing and networking with your peers. Volunteerism is essential to the well-being of every West Virginia community. Since I became governor, Gail and I have asked West Virginians of all ages, what have you done lately for your neighbor, your community, and your state. There are so many ways that each of us can take our passion and turn it into service to others. And the place to start is volunteerwv.org. I want every West Virginian to visit this website to log on, log in, and be counted. And if you don't have a computer, here's a toll-free number you can call. It's 1-800-WV-HELPS. That's 1-800-984-3577. Let's volunteer West Virginia because we're all in the business of caring. I would encourage everyone to volunteer. Try something. Do something. Wake up and do something today.